Joining us now, News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton, who has also been out in Idaho covering this story for us closely. Uh, Brian, as we just saw a moment ago, you've been speaking with the victims' families on the ground there. Can you tell us a little about how they, they feel the investigation is being handled? Look, I think they're starting to get frustrated, uh, Natasha, with the investigation. They, they want to have faith in the police. Uh, they know they're working hard and basically around the clock. But at the same time, uh, there just haven't been any significant developments now in weeks. It's now three weeks out and there is still no known suspect, no known person of interest. And you heard from Alex's report with, with Kaylee's family. Uh, they're concerned about why some of these people uh, that surrounded the roommates are being cleared. They want to know what the alibis are. Police aren't telling them the specific alibis. They say at this point they deserve more information from the investigators. And it is one thing for us to say the small town of Moscow has been rocked by this tragedy. What is your sense? What is the overall feeling there as you've been speaking with members of the community? Are people there concerned and scared? with an unknown suspect still being on the loose. Absolutely. Um, it, it's almost like there's a cloud over this town. People are nervous, especially on the college campus. Some, some students didn't come back. They, they've switched to online learning because they're just too nervous to be here. Uh, others, they walk around in pairs, in groups. They don't want to be alone. Some people have put uh, extra locks on their doors. There are students that will not go out after dark. They really feel like this killer uh, could, could be among them, Natasha. And we know a little later tonight, you're going to be providing a special report on the latest in this investigation. What can we expect? Yeah, we've been working hard on this all week long. It's going to be an hour long. It's going to take you through everything we know from the beginning to end. Everything we've learned with the investigation, even some new uh, pieces of information that we have just confirmed today. Uh, we're going to break those uh, on the special. It's coming up tonight uh, at 9 o'clock Eastern. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.